Hey foodie friends, I've been hearing a lot about this Hero Bread, zero net carbs, which means it has carbs, but it's so high in fiber that apparently you don't digest the carbs. I'm still trying to understand all that. So since my husband and I are trying to cut back on carbs, he's not a, as good at it as I am. I mean, I could eat something without bread at all. He loves bread. So I got the seeded and the regular white. I have heard that it won't spike your blood sugar. Because a couple years ago, I had learned about A1C, a blood test called A1C. And you can find it if you're pre-diabetic or even diabetic, and it's very easily reversible. So I had us cut back on carbs. We got our numbers back in the safe zone. So I think this is serious business, actually. So let's talk about this. And no, I am not paid to do this. I am a small fry and I just wanna try it. I have not tried this. It has to stay refrigerated. That's why I pulled it out of the fridge and you can freeze it. Cause I think I read somewhere you wanna eat it within 10 days. When you buy it, it is in the refrigerated section. So it's not cheap. It's about five times more than regular bread, but it's good for you. So in the back, here's your details. You can see that. And this is why they're saying zero net carbs is because it's a lot of fiber. There's very little online about this, or at least on YouTube. I couldn't find much. So that's why I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do a video. But what's interesting is I heard it had um, the inflammatory vegetable oil or canola oil of some sort. Well, look what I just noticed. It says new, now made with olive oil. So that's good. So they're actually trying to make it even healthier. So sometime back when I needed to start just keeping check of blood sugar and all that, I got this little test. And if you're squeamish, you don't have to look. I'm just going to do a quick finger stick and uh, you test it and see what your current blood sugar is. I haven't had anything to eat since last night, so I'm getting pretty hungry. Um, but this little blood test is going to tell me what my blood sugar is at now. And then I'm going to eat some of this and wait a little bit and then see if it raises it. I have heard that it does not raise your blood sugar. All right, so let's do the blood test. You can skip forward if you don't wanna see it. It's, you're not gonna see much. So to turn it on, you just put this little tab thing in here with the little computer looking design on the top. And it says it is ready to be tested. I hate doing this, I don't like it. You can set your little stick thing on low or high. So I'm almost all the way on low. It doesn't take much. So then you got a little, pull the little trigger thing and make it like it loads it somehow. Ah, I hate doing that. All right, so here we go. We're gonna test it. Right now, right now it says I'm at 106, which is pretty good. Um, it can bounce around between like 80, 100, 106. Uh, I think 110, all that's pretty good. I'd like to see it under 100, but that's what it is right now. So I got me some filtered water, no sugar, no nothing, just filtered water from the refrigerator filtering system. So I'm gonna give a few bites to the, uh, the regular white bread here, the Hero white bread. And it's soft and pillowy and feels like nice normal bread. I'm not a big crust fan, so I'm just gonna rip out the middle here. Look how nice it, it's like stretchy and just the way bread should be. Let's see how it is, and it's got no sugar added, so let's see. Hmm. It almost has like a little bit of a sourdough taste to it. It's definitely not neutral flavored. Uh, I definitely miss the sugar that they do put in bread, but that's what's bad for you. They load bread up with sugar, and I didn't really notice that until recently when I was trying to learn about all this stuff. I was kind of expecting it to maybe stick to the roof of my mouth or just be weird, but it's good. It's almost like a, like a very light wheat bread. Like it's, it's not, I, don't, I just don't know how to describe it. I like it though. I definitely like it. It's light, it's fluffy, it's not dense or anything. All right, so let's try this seeded bread. And uh, that's what Brian likes a lot, is like Dave's bread with all the seeds and stuff in it. So here's what it looks like when you rip it open. It's got all kind of little seeds. I'll have to look at the uh, ingredients. Let's try it. It 
it definitely gives your mouth something to do with all these little seeds and it looks like little, I don't know, probably nuts and seeds or is it just seeds? It's good. I really like it. I know Brian's going to like it. So that's important. So let me eat a couple more bites because I want to make sure we see if it's going to uh, raise my sugar or not. Looks like a mouse got in the house or something, doesn't it? <laughs> or maybe two mice in the house. So while I'm waiting to see if it's going to do anything to my sugar level, again, you have to keep this in the refrigerator. I'm not sure why. Maybe because it's not full of preservatives and all that. But it has been noted, and I was going to do it anyways. I've done this in the past with other bread, that you can freeze it. Because when COVID happened and there was nothing out there, I was freezing all kinds of things I didn't know you could freeze, and it worked out just fine. Okay, so we're going to wait a few minutes and see what it does to my blood sugar levels. So what I've understood, especially when it comes to bread, that after just 15 to 30 minutes, your blood will start spiking, and sometimes immediately. Uh, so that's why, like, if diabetics are low and they take just sugar, it, it's like an instant hit within 10 minutes, I think. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just giving you what I have learned online. All right, so we're going to go ahead and test my blood now and see if it's still at 106. Again, there's no reason to be squeamish. You can't really see anything, but here we go. And if you do not have one of these and you're not familiar with them, they say don't touch the side that the little blood drop's going to go on, but you can touch this side. I try to grab it by the edges, but not always possible. All right, we're turned on. see what it is. One twenty three. What? It was one Oh six and I only had a little bit of it. Uh, so the theory of it not spiking your blood sugar in my case is not true. Um, I don't know. I'm still willing to try the bread cause a lot of people and I think diabetics have tried it and they seemed happy with it, but it did say that your blood can go, I think it's like from one forty to one sixty after a meal like a meal. This was just a few bites of bread. So I'm not sure about this. So what I think I'm going to do is after a little while and I get back down, it might take a while to get back down to a lower number. I've got some white bread in the form of hamburger buns. I'm going to go ahead and thaw a hamburger bun out and eat some of that and see if it goes up a lot higher than this. Let's see what my blood sugar is right now. I was hoping I was only going to do this twice all day, but as we see, we have to see what's going on here. I hate that. They don't normally do this, hardly ever. I've been really good with cutting carbs. Not real good, but I've been pretty good, so I haven't needed to be tested in a long time. Okay, so it's come down to 116. What was it before? 120 something. So we're going to start with the 116 number. I'm going to eat some of this. This is just regular old Walmart brand or great value white bread. I need my water. Okay, so it's been a little while since I had the regular white bread. So let's do this one last time, hopefully for the day. Oh, I hate that. Glad I don't have to do this all the time. Okay, so we are at 117. That's interesting. I was at 116. I ate regular white bread, about at the same amount as the other bread, and I'm only up one more point. Didn't even hit the 120 20 something that I did with the hero bread. And then I kept going online and trying to find more info because, you know, I've heard rumors that it doesn't spike your blood sugar, but then I did see, as you'll see here, that it can spike your blood sugar. I'm not that worried about that. 
as long as you got a good pancreas and all that stuff, whatever, you know, is all keeping your blood level. What I'm trying to do is cut carbs and keep my A1C numbers down. And uh, that, that's the plan. So is Hero Bread worth the hype? Is it worth paying five times more? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know because still, if it's really zero to one net carbs, if that's true, then it's worth it. I guess we'll go ahead and eat this, see how things do. Um, but I say just cut out the bread or cut back the bread. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'll probably go back to either a more affordable, low carb bread, something like that, or just no bread. We're not cutting it out, but just by cutting way back, you know, not eating cereals and candy and all the things that I love and that he loves, just cutting back will actually really make a big difference in your numbers. So if you like this video or these types of videos, it would be an honor to have you subscribe and thank you so much for watching.